The track tool allows the user to define a measurement path for a part in a separate GoCater utility, and the measurements can be applied along that same path. For example, track characteristics such as width, height, offset, and continuity can be calculated. This is especially useful for glue or sealant bead applications. Here's a scan with the track applied on a flat surface. Start by adding Surface Track Tool. Create a file which saves all of the scan data information with the Create Operation dropdown. This saves it as a CSV file. Next, open the GoCater utility called Track Editor found in the GoCater Software Tools package to apply the track. This package can be downloaded from our website, lmi3d.com, under Product Downloads and by selecting your GoCater model. Click Load Tracks and locate the file that was just saved. Begin defining the path, that is, where the glue should be applied, usually based on a CAD model, by clicking and creating points which will be automatically connected by a path. If necessary, Adjust the points for an improved fit. On the bottom, we'll purposely draw the path away from the glue to simulate an issue with the placement of the glue track. Next, check off batch setting and then get ruler to measure the track. Adjust the length, width, and space parameters so that it covers the track appropriately. Now that we're happy with the track and ruler, click on save tracks. This will update the CSV file. Back in the GoCater firmware, we can now load the updated file by selecting Load in the Operation parameter. Check off Display Track and Ruler, and now we can see all the lines that were generated in the Track Editor. Also, turn on Display Measurement Results to see the effects of the parameters that are being entered. An OK count of 0 is shown, and not good count of 116 is shown. Set the parameters of what constitutes an acceptable measurement, including center threshold and max track width. Set the nominal width to the expected width of your track, and set the width tolerance according to your application requirements. Now do the same for height. Set the nominal height to the expected height, and set the height tolerance. And set the offset tolerance. The OK count has now been updated, and the green dots in the center of the track indicate they are being count as OK. You'll see here that the track is offset from the intended path. You'll also see that the height measurements fail here, where the track is broken. The Track Tool is an incredibly powerful tool. With the right application, you can solve your previously difficult inspection challenges and save significant time previously spent by adding individual profile tools.